Good morning. Welcome to my kitchen. It is 5.30 in the morning, one day out before my photo shoot. I want to give you guys some tips on what I'm going to be eating kind of this morning, some supplementation leading into my last 24 hours uh, before my photo shoot. So let's do this, guys. All right, guys. So we are going to get our burners started. Um, this morning, I'm going to go with some steak. So I'm going to cut up some fillets and some Casey strips. Um, first off, what I end up doing is I get on and I trim all the extra fat off. Now, people who are big steak people know that the fat gives it a lot of flavor and whatnot, but this close to a photo shoot, I'm not wanting all that extra fat. And the fats that I do get, I want to get them from like an almond butter or something that I thoroughly enjoy, not just the extra fat that's on the meat. So I really skinny it down lean it down and then uh, and then we'll, we'll cook it up. You can grill it too, um, but for, uh, for timing purposes, I'm just gonna put it on a skillet, get it nice and cooked up, and then I'll have this for the rest of the day. All right, we're gonna cook this and uh, on to the next step. All right, so while our meat is cooking, I wanna give you guys a few other tips of the foods that I eat during prep. So uh, I'm one day out. I've been a little bit lower carb uh, for the last week or so. Uh, I brought some carbs in, but for the most part, it's been a little bit lower than I typically do. Um, so I'm gonna start loading quite a bit more on carbs, but I don't do it like tradition will do it where it's like, I'm gonna do 800 grams of carbs. I don't do that. I actually uh, kind of bring it back in slower and just watch my body to make sure I'm not spilling over. So you don't want the carb to spill over so much that your muscle and your, your, uh, your muscle looks just uh, overall flat because of the fluid that's in between your muscle and your skin. So we're essentially trying to pull the water out, fill the glycogen levels up, but not go so much that uh, you're super full, but you're not super sharp. All right, so I go with these Lundberg. Uh, these are brown rice, these are salt free. So last day, we gotta keep that sodium out for the most part. Um, so the brown rice, rice cakes, I eat these all day long. And I just watch my body as I go. Um, I'll also do some sweet potatoes. Um, I do this a different way though. So most people, the microwave or the bake it or whatnot, what I do is I cut it into really uh, small little slices, almost like french fries type slices. And then I bake at 450 for right around 40 minutes. And then they come out like sweet potato fries. They're kind of crispy. So that's how I prefer them. Um, so I eat those throughout the day too. Now something that I do a little bit different that a lot of people don't do is I actually keep my fats pretty high during the day. So uh, uh, before shoot, um, there's no sodium. I got this one I think at Costco. There is zero sodium. There's a little bit of carb, seven grams of carb, a little bit of sugar, some protein, but most importantly, no sodium. So this is, uh, essentially what I, I bring in as well. Um, so I'll do this uh, the first couple meals of the day and then I'll, I'll move over to a carbohydrate and then fill out fully. So this is one day out from photo shoot. So a lot of the things that I'm telling you I do, I'm not necessarily doing the rest of the year. This is just to get that last little bit of sharpness out. I encourage you to have salt and sodium in your nutrition. You don't want to go sodium free for long periods of time. You need to stay hydrated and your electrolyte levels good and whatnot. This is just to make sure that when I shoot, there's not a whole bunch of water in between my skin and my muscle so that I don't look the way that I've looked working as hard as I have as long as I have now. All right, guys. All right, so as we're finishing up cooking the rest of this steak, uh, I want to share with you guys my supplementation. Uh, as far as today, one day before shoot, and then day of shoot. So today I woke up early, about 4.30, got in my fasted cardio, and I did this little stack here. Glutamine, most abundant amino acid. This is great for muscle recovery. This is great for making sure that I am not burning a bunch of muscle while I do my cardio. This right here is gold. Even if you don't work out, take glutamine. Uh, every time that we felt like we were about to get sick, Throughout the year, we started loading up on glutamine and we didn't get sick. It was pretty crazy. So I do about uh, 10 to 20 grams a day, uh, 10 in the morning, 10 at night. Uh, rocket science. So my energy levels are pretty low, even though here on video, I seem like I'm pretty high. 
Here in a couple hours, I'm going to start fading a little bit uh, as I get closer to the end of the day. But uh, early in the morning, I need a boost. Rocket Science has been it. Love Rocket Science. And then this is a carnitine-based uh, product, Carnidium. This is amazing as well. So this is the stack that I do for uh, fasted cardio state when I'm in a cutting mode leading into my shoot. All right, so uh, drip dry. Drip dry is something you only take during prep and during your peak week. So peak week is trying to get that last bit of fluid out, get the last little uh, bit of body fat after your hard work. So drip dry is a natural diuretic that also has potassium, all that extra stuff that you need in it. And I happen to be on the box, which is really awesome. <laughs> so love drip dry. That always gets me nice and sharp right before a photo shoot. So. All right, day of photo shoot when I'm getting pumped up. So I have carbs in my system, really starting to go. I'm doing big C. Uh, so this is a creatine base that's not going to make me really watery. So that's really important. Big C, that'll keep my muscles really full. Uh, thrust, especially those guys over 35, this is a great, great product for you. Uh, DNA and volume, massive muscle pumps. These two things right here, massive muscle pumps. They will get vascularity out, your muscles nice and full, especially at the photo shoot. I can't wait to show you guys the pictures after I take this and get pumped up. So these are the things that I do. If you guys want to try any of these, get a hold of me. I'm going to uh, uh, private message me. I'll give you guys an exclusive promo code to try any of this stuff that you'd like. I can also uh, go the extra step in. And if you send me your goals, I'll tell you exactly what you need to do and how much you need to do it. All right, guys. All right, steak's almost done, and uh, and uh, I want to give you guys a few last tips. So, when you guys are thinking about setting goals for yourself, make them very specific. You know, I want to lose X amount in X amount of time. I want to lose X amount of inches. I want to go run this far in this amount of time. Whatever that specific goal is in your life. You gotta eat right. Nutrition is by far the most important factor of the whole process. Without proper nutrition, you're not going to reach your goals, especially from a physical standpoint. But also internally, eating right is gonna make you feel really, really good. It's also the majority of the day. That's why it makes up such a big portion of the formula. Workout. Strength training is important for bone density, for just strength, for feeling good, for looking good. So get on some weights. Guys, girls, go lift weights and, and feel really strong and feel really confident. Cardio. Cardio is really, really important. So, I'm not a huge cardio person, but I understand that it's going to be good for my heart. It's going to be good to get my body fat percentage down, so I have to keep the cardio in. I just feel better when I'm doing cardio, too. So, uh, uh, I stay distracted. I get downstairs. Uh, we get on the elliptical, and I, and I literally... Uh, I play some games, I listen to some music and kind of distract it and before I know it I'm 800 calories in, 1000 calories in and finished up. So cardio on that side. Alright guys, so last but not least, this is not a quick fix. This is a permanent lifestyle. So myself and my wife, we own a business called HitchFit. If you haven't seen it, go check out HitchFit.com. So we have combined experience of 35 years helping people transform their bodies all over the globe. We're in like 74 countries, over 325,000 pounds of fat loss since 2009. We are obsessed with helping people transform. So if you need guidance on what to eat, how to train, uh, all, the, all the keys of living a lifestyle that's extremely healthy and positive, just uh, check out the website there. You can contact me too in direct message. I'll give you a promo code for that as well. Uh, guys, we're here to help. We're here to transform. We're here to inspire. So, uh, you know, ultimately, you just got to eat right. You got to train hard. You got to live a lifestyle that's going to help you reach your goals. And then ultimately, you can go out and inspire a whole bunch of other people. That's what it's about. All right, guys, have a great day. Thank you guys so much for following. I'm about 24 hours out, so let's do this. Appreciate all the support, and don't forget to flex and smile.